snowflake, and so are you. Your children are snowflakes, and so are mine. And those who protest the loudest about not being snowflakes, I can see your six-fold ice crystals from here. So to those on the right and the left, enough with snowflake. It's not a cool insult. Uh, that was a chilly message from the mainstream media, in a way. Well, here to react to that is the only irrational speaker and the pit bull of personal development, Mr. Larry Wingett. Good to see you, Larry. Good to see you. It's irritational. That's true. And we just irritated him. So, <laughs> so what do you think about the snowflakes saying, stop calling the snowflakes? Then quit being snowflakes. You know, really, the problem with believing that you're special is that you will believe you deserve special treatment just because you're special. And yet the world is always going to judge you based on contribution. And that's what they have a tendency to forget. Your mom and daddy think you're special, but that's it. The rest of us want you to do something, to contribute something. And way you're hurting these kids, uh, the next generation, if you tell them they're special without earning that because they're about to go into a world that's not going to treat them that way. Yeah, once they walk out their front door, and see, it starts when they're little bitty kids. You're special. You're mom and daddy's special little princess. And then they walk out the door, and they're just one more snot nosed little kid sitting in the third row of their first grade class. And from that point on, it's always going to be about what they do on merit, contribution. Larry, what did you think of the story coming out of the U.K. where they're banning sports altogether? because if you're on the losing team, it makes the kids feel bad. Non-confrontational uh, <coughs> yeah. sports options. The most important lesson any of us will ever learn is how to lose. We will spend more time losing in life than we ever will learning, and that's where all the great lessons come from. We're cheating these kids bad. Well, not if you're according, in a... according to a study in your book, 53% of Americans say, yeah, I like that my kids lose. Yeah, uh, most parents understand it's important to lose, and when we rob them of that opportunity, we're going to hurt them. Because when they're in the losing zone, they're in the, the safe zone. Now, tell us about your new book, What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything? What's Wrong with Damn Near Everything is we have a collapse of core values. When you look at core values like honesty and integrity, respect, self-sufficiency, look at that one, uh, then we're going to have a big problem in society. That's the reason we're such a mess right now in terms of education, uh, government, families, the way customers are treated by businesses. It all comes down to a lack of core values and a complete collapse. Sounds Congratulations. like you're worried about the future of America. Yeah. Right. And the presence of America, too. Congratulations. Right. Thank this you is so, so much. Exciting. I appreciate yeah. it. If you want to pick up his book, it's called What's Wrong with It? <laughs> Darn near everything. Damn near everything. I don't everything. ever like to cuss <laughs> on the show. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Dan's a curse. <laughs> okay. It's not. Yeah, it is. I know, but the producers are telling me I'm a snowflake. <laughs> well, and she's melting. <laughs> All right, Larry, thank you very much. Thank you.